Stop wasting time. The most important commodity in this world is time. Time is priceless. Time is the essence of what you do each and every day. See, a lot of people show up at a job and they work and work and work and they don't like it. Or they show up at school and they study, 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 take tests and don't like it. But for some of us, we've went to a place to where we realize that all of that is for something to make us better. That's a mindset. That's not despising small things. That's realizing that a higher power is in charge to get you on a path and with your freedom of choice, you can make yourself even greater. Success is not overnight. It's studying, it's learning, it's growing, it's falling down and getting back up. It's failing and failing forward. It's not quitting. It's late nights, early mornings, no alarm clock, passion waking you up. It's something inside, an innate ability that makes you feel like I am something and I'm going to be something. Never, never let anybody tell you different. So I need you to believe you can move past depression, anxiety, fear, and all these emotions that come in that are not part of what you're going to be one day. I know it's tough, but time and time again, the tougher it is, the better it's going to make you. We can't shy away from the things that are tough because those are the things that make us get better and better and better. That's practice. That's in and out, that's rep after rep, time after time, lap after lap, lesson after lesson, paper after paper, book after book, training our mind to get better each and every day. That's in you, you have built, been built for this. You can't quit, you can do it. Now depression, not learning disabilities, not stress, not family, not finances, not being the smartest one in the class, not being a great test taker. You can do this. You have been built for this. Nothing just happens. You were in this situation for a reason and you are built for this. This is your time. This is your moment. This is your destiny. So stop wasting time. How many seconds, how many minutes, how many hours have we wasted? How many weeks, how many months, even how many years have we wasted doing things that we know are not productive towards our dreams? The reality is, is that we have to maximize our time in order to make our dreams reality. Stop wasting time. We can never get it back. Why am I here? When you realize why you were born, you have become the person you were supposed to be and move on to the greatest parts of your life. See, a lot of people show up at a job and they work and work and work and they don't like it. Or they show up at school and they study, 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 take tests and don't like it. But for some of us, we've went to a place to where we realize that all of that is for something to make us better. That's a mindset. That's not despising small things. That's realizing that a higher power is in charge to get you on a path and with your freedom of choice, you can make yourself even greater. Making yourself believe that you can do it is a part of the process. It wasn't started without any work. You have to work through it. Tell yourself that you will do it. 
What can we do? What are some of the keys that we can begin to use to motivate ourselves when our batteries run low? Because I don't care who you are, I don't care what you do, at some time you are going to get tired. At some time you're going to get in a rut, seem like nothing you do works out right. And sometimes it just seems like you just don't have the wherewithal or the will to do anything. That sometimes you act like you're punch drunk. You're just wading through life, just doing time day in and day out, looking at non-discriminatory television, anything that's on, just looking. <laughs> and depressed, feeling powerless, feeling useless and bored. What do you do? How do you get yourself out of a rut? How do you, when you know you can do more than what you've been doing and you're not doing it and you're discontent with where you are, you get angry at yourself. How do you get out of that rut? How do you motivate yourself? One of the things that we must do is that we must be involved in working on achieving self-mastery. You must work on yourself continuously. Never be satisfied with yourself. Always know that as you invest the effort and time on you, that's the greatest ability that human beings have above animals. See, a dog can't be anything but a dog. Tree can't be anything but a tree. Human being, you've got unlimited potential. You can put effort on you, and by concentrating on you and developing you, you can transform your life wherever you are right now. Most people won't do that. Well, they won't take time to go to lectures. They won't take time to go to seminars. They won't take time to, to go to classes to improve themselves. And as you continue to work on yourself, you will begin to expand your vision of yourself. You begin to work towards self-mastery. And you will begin to see it reflect itself in all the dimensions of your life, your mental life, your physical life, your social life, in your relationships, your monetary life. So concentrate on developing yourself because if you don't I guarantee you that you will make a settlement and most people have and most of us already have what kind of settlement have you made with your life you know when we make settlements out of court settlements you've heard them that means that you decided to take something less than what you originally wanted to get had you gone into court and the reason that you settled outside of court is because you didn't believe that you can get it so you made an out-of-court settlement. Many of us are making in-life settlement. We're settling for less than what we actually deserve. We don't feel good about it, but we make it work in our minds. We'll come up with some kind of excuse to make it all right. Extraordinary. Oh, when we put our minds to it, we can do extraordinary things. The Wright brothers, once they did achieve flight after time and time again of making mistakes, 66 years later, the human race was able to put a man on the moon. It's been said that time is free, but it's priceless. You can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it but you can spend it. Once you've lost it, you can never get it back. The human mind has a mindset that once it gets focused on the goal and buckles down and realize what it wants to do, human beings can do extraordinary things. See, some of us get these labels and these deficiencies and we just hang our hats on those and we make excuses. You know, you can't make excuses and be successful at the same time. So quickly at a young age, I realized that I have got to outwork other people. Nothing is impossible when you don't quit. Stop wasting time. Because if you live every second like it's your last, you will never waste time. Coach Height. Onward, upward, towards the light.